My name is Ali Samabali. I'm a professional fitness trainer for the athletes, but I also train pretty much everybody. And I'm also a coach, basketball coach, and uh, also a former player. Uh, I play uh, NCAA Division I, play high school, 17 St. Mary's with LeBron James, and my teammate won a couple championships together. Hi, right, James, how are you? What's up, how you doing? So, what do you need help with? Basically, what I do, my job is to be able to control how the talent progress from running fast, jumping higher, agility, flexibility, you know, ball handling, shooting, post move, court vision, all of that. Flex your toes. The reason why you flex your toe, because you're engaging your quad, which is very important for a basketball player, right? Uh, I play for Cobank Bank too, apart from J-Quad. And uh, in Cobank, Bank, um, I've gotten the pleasure of playing people like, like um, players like Kiganya, and he's huge. And um, actually, guys have persuaded me to play three man because of my small size. As much as I'm agile and quick and I can jump, uh, once I just get bumped, let's say I'm on defense, it's easy for a guy to score over me, or also on offense. Uh, it's hard for me to score while the defender is tall, uh, a bit bigger than me. When somebody is not strong enough, he gets tossed aside. He gets pushed out of position very easily. Okay, but when you're stronger, you control what you do. You can make you move properly. When you jump, your core is strong. You're making you move. Even if you get pushed, you already have that balance and that strength to be able to maintain yourself. Basketball is one of those sports that use your biggest muscle and your smallest muscle. That's why strength is so important to be able to have muscle endurance, to be able to perform a certain amount of exercise without getting tired. So for a basketball player, that's very important. Our basketball fans uh, time in memorial. We have believed in uh, working on the skills and not in the gym. But as far as I'm concerned, if you look at Kenyan teams, most of them, they concentrate on the basketball court and not outside the basketball court. And I think we need to go and get strength in the gym, work on our physicality, because that is where you're going to make, I mean, players to come and play physical game. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you don't expect a hard game. The game has developed so much. Back um, in the 80s, maybe strength wasn't really important. But now you have kids that are taller, right? And the game has developed so much in the sense that when you're playing against, they know exactly what move you're going to make before you make it. You play against the same person with the same talent. Whoever is going to win is the one who's stronger. If you look at uh, like 90% of uh, my players, most of them, they cannot play a physical game. Like uh, we did in Burundi, uh, the games were physical, and that is one thing that really, really made us not win our games. But I have one, Chris Mulumba, who is very good in the gym, and you can see even his game is more physical than any other player that uh, we have actually in the Kenyan league. We're supposed to be taking a lot of proteins, uh, a lot of water, such stuff. But um, since we're still, like for me, I'm still in campus, the food that we get, like let's say proteins, it's maybe just beans and beef. It's hard to get white meat, which uh, I hear is uh, required for us basketballers. We're supposed to eat white meat, I think chicken, fish, such stuff. On campus, it's quite hard to get uh, that kind of food. So what we basically eat, uh, live on, is beef. There's everything here as far as nutrition. I think it's just a combination of how to do it. Instead of fried chicken, you can, you can broil it, you can broil it, you can put it in an oven, you can roast it. When you roast the chicken, the, the, the grease go down, and then instead from you can eat white meat instead of frying it. If I put more pressure on myself so that I can gain more weight, uh, I can be better physically. Um, I'm sure, I'm 100% sure I'll be a better basketball player and I can go places. Uh, I'll not say it's lack of facilities like 
USIU has one of the best teams. It's the player, I mean, lack of interest for the players. They don't want to do it. They don't want to go to the gym. They wait for the coach. I'm not an instructor for the gym. I'll wait for player in the basketball court. So my encouragement to them is they have to do the physical parts on their own so that I concentrate on the basketball court. Yes. Every time you train, you got to keep your abs. They got to be tight, like rock. OK? So now step up. One, two, three, four, five. Here, this exercise is to work on your explosiveness, your quickness, and your endurance. So thank you so much, James. Alright, my man. Peace. Me, peep, peep.